an unprovoked invasion of a sovereign nation. Russia's war on Ukraine upended the global security order. It has pushed NATO and Russia closer to direct conflict. Announcing what he called a special military operation February 24th, Russian President Vladimir Putin invoked the ideologies of World War II. We will strive for the demilitarization and denazification of Ukraine. Russia threatened to use nuclear weapons if the West got involved in the war. NATO boosted its defense forces in Eastern Europe. Initially cautious, Western nations, led by the United States, began supplying more weapons to Ukraine, including howitzers, multiple launch rocket systems and air defense systems. But Ukraine's demands for tanks and fighter jets remain unanswered. We've got to sort of move away from thinking in terms of supplying just enough for Ukraine not to be defeated to supplying enough for Ukraine to defeat Russia. Western military aid helped Ukrainian forces recapture the cities of Kharkiv and Kherson. As the brutal winter sets in, major offensives have given way to trench warfare and long-range strikes. Russia is now targeting Ukraine's energy infrastructure. Putin's attacks on civilian infrastructure and the cut in gas supplies to Europe and so on is obviously intended to achieve victory through demoralization of Ukraine and its allies. I don't think that that is working. Analysts say the coming months will test the commitment of the West. We can either allow a nuclear bully to get his way and live with insecurity for decades to come, or we can make sure that Putin is not victorious in Ukraine and somehow try to rebuild something better on a much sounder basis. And as Russian losses mount, pressure on Putin is growing. Even the most conservative analysis right now is looking at about 50,000 men dead in Ukraine. This is between three and five times greater what the USSR lost in Afghanistan in 10 years, in eight months. I can't see how a society can, can sustain that. But can the West sustain its support for Ukraine? Washington insists it won't waver. The president said we're going to support Ukraine for as long as it takes, and he means that. Far beyond the conflict zone, others, not least China and Taiwan, are watching closely. The outcome of the war will not only dictate relations between Russia and the West, it will likely shape a new global order. Henry Ridgewell for VUA News, London.